So have you ever wanted to take video out of your camera and onto your computer for editing without touching the camera or the memory card? Well, you can, and I'm gonna show you the how and the why right now. So getting video off of your camera is really easy. You can just pull the memory card, put it into a USB card reader, put that into your computer, take the video that way, then pull the memory card out of the USB card reader and put it back into your camera and you're ready to go. But that's a lot of steps. I don't really wanna do that. I wanna just be have the turnover go as quickly as possible. So. Another way you can do this is you can plug a USB cable directly into your camera, plug the other end into your computer, the camera detects the computer and now becomes a USB drive and you can take the video that way. The problem is when you're done, you're then gonna have to unplug your USB cable from your camera so it switches from USB mode back to camera mode. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna constantly be plugging cables in and out of my camera if I don't have to. And what I've done is essentially plug the USB cable into my camera and left it there and plug the other end into a USB printer switch. This switch has one USB input and two USB outputs. One of the outputs goes to the computer, the other output goes nowhere. So when the switch is engaged and the camera detects the computer, it goes, oh, now I'm a USB drive and it switches into USB mode. When I hit the switch again, it goes, oh, I don't see anything, so I must be a camera now, and it goes back to camera mode. This way I can switch between camera and USB mode at will without plugging and unplugging any cables. But wait, you might say, what about Wi-Fi? Can't you just transfer your videos across your Wi-Fi network to your computer? And while this is true that you can with some cameras that allow you to, but if your camera is older or not as fancy, this won't be an option. However, most cameras do have a USB port. Either way, it's the same idea. I don't have to touch my camera anymore. I just have to hit that switch once. I like this kind of compact cheap switch that I found because it has one button. So I can just toggle back and forth and I'll leave a link to that switch in the description below. Now this is just a cheap, easy idea that's really helped me streamline things. And if you think it's a good idea, you could do it too, or you can just ignore this video and go on your merry way. Thanks for watching.